Hi, I'm Michael Josh from Rappler.com. We're here at Star Mobile's headquarters where we're given a sneak peek at their upcoming tablet. Here it is, the Star Mobile Diamond X1. Coming to stores the last week of January, that's about January 30 or 31. Today, we're giving you a hands-on review. So this is it, Star Mobile's uh, Diamond X1. It's a six inch tablet with a 720p uh, HD display. Uh, some of its uh, neat features, um, it's their first smartphone to come with an aluminum, uh, an aluminum back, actually comes with an aluminum frame around it as, as well. Uh, let me just show you how to take out the back while we're here taking a look at uh, the back of this phone. Uh, you basically pop off uh, the bottom uh, and like popping off the entire back plate. You'd pop, pop, pop that off and then you would slide this open uh, to reveal uh, the uh, innards. As you can see, uh, the phone comes with provisions for two SIM card slots. You have a standard size SIM and a micro, size, uh, micro SIM over here and um, room for expandable memory. It supports all the way up to 64 gigabytes, although they recommend that you stick with a 32 gigabyte um, micro SD card. Uh, the battery on board is a 2300 milliampere a battery and that too is uh, removable as you can see uh, and um, there you can see that's a 2300 uh, milliampere uh, battery to power this um, six inch uh, tablet. As you can see um, the uh, phone is, is the back plate is aluminum and it gives the phone um, a more premium feel to it. So you just slide that back on and then this one you would just be basically pop back on like you would the back case of a smartphone. While we're here at the back of the phone let's take a look at the camera. This phone like most of Star Mobile's phones today, it's pretty much a standard, it comes with an 18 megapixel uh, camera with autofocus and uh, backside illuminated technology. Uh, it comes with a uh, flash over here and uh, if you notice up top and here um, on the bottom of the phone are speaker grills. Uh, Star Mobile has built in Yamaha speakers into this phone and it promises uh, better audio. This device is supposed to be a multimedia device, um, not, not only because of its screen but because of its um, processor. Now um, let me turn the phone on. Uh, as you can see up here in terms of button placement you have the power button up top with the um, headphone jack and you have um, on its side the uh, volume rocker. Those are the only buttons on the device. Now let's turn the phone on and let me just talk you through some of the phone's other specs. This phone runs off a octa-core processor. It's one of the uh, only two phones available locally that come with a true octa-core uh, processor. This one comes from MediaTek and um, when I say true octa-core, uh, in the past we've had phones that run off an octa-core processor like the Samsung Galaxy S4 non-LTE variant, but those didn't really use all eight cores. This phone or this processor allows the phone to use all eight cores at the same time. This phone also runs uh, uh, it's a 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor, two gigabytes of RAM, and it comes with eight gigabytes of storage. Okay, so this is how um, the home screen of the uh, Star Mobile Diamond X1 looks like. Uh, as you can see, Star Mobile has uh, built in a couple of customizations. The icons, for example, are all um, built into this uh, square, roundish square thingy. Um, uh, it's basically, you know, to try to create, make sure the icons look a little bit bigger. It also gives it a, a custom feel to it. But what I really appreciate about what Star Mobile did is really think about how Filipinos or their target market uses the device. Uh, they have um, built in a couple of nifty features, like for example here on their texting application. Um, a lot of Filipinos do like to, to type long messages and a lot of us like to hit the enter button and usually the enter button uh, is, um, the, is the same thing for the, the send key but you know some of us do like to say like hello, how are you maybe uh, and we want to start a second paragraph so they have built in a um, enter key that works to create an extra paragraph not to send and, and the send button would be over here so that's um, uh, they're listening to how their customers uh, use the phone. Uh, here's another thing, uh, Star Mobile is building, uh, has built an app called Star Mobile Sync and what's great about this app is whether or not you're coming from an iPhone or a feature phone or even the old Nokia phones, um, you can connect the phone as long as it has Bluetooth and then you can run the transfer wizard and uh, transfer all your contacts over. So this is a, the perfect uh, phone and the perfect app for those who are just stepping up from a feature phone or a phone that even predates that era. Um, another thing that they've uh, customized is their MX player. Now, they know that a lot of us do have all sorts of different kinds of media consumption. We um, stick in all sorts of media that we download off the internet and they've thought about all these different file types 
and have made sure that they build the codex into the device. So if you're using um, MX Player to play the videos, then uh, more, more or less the video should work. Now because this is a six inch phone, it's, it's quite big. Uh, and in, uh, for someone like me with small hands, I may or may not be able to access the buttons, for example, right here on the bottom of the screen. So if you're an iPhone user, this, this does look familiar. Let me show it to you without anything. It does look familiar. It's an assistive touch button that will allow you to, to access the same buttons that are here. The menu, the home, and the back button are also present up here. So for example, I was um, in settings and I wanted to go back and I couldn't reach the back button. I could just go over here and just swipe here and it would go back, or if I wanted to go home, I could do that as well, and swipe back home. Another feature worth noting is dual band Wi-Fi. The, the Wi-Fi chip is located behind this panel over here, and what that basically means is if you're uh, using your device to stream to a, a device, say, Google's Chromecast, uh, it can utilize both the 2.4 uh, and the 5 gigahertz bands, um, which is a more efficient way to stream your content over the airwaves. And last but not least, the screen on this device is a Asahi scratch resistant glass. So even if you don't have a screen protector on, this should be able to withstand um, scratches, uh, picking up scratches from keys, placing it on the table, or scratching against coins in your pocket. So that you get a better sense of how big the 6-inch display is, let me put the phone side by side with an iPhone 5. So, as you can see, it is a much larger phone. In fact, uh, most of you will call this device a tablet, which is a combination between a phone and a tablet. So why would you want a bigger display? That's really up to you. A lot of people want phones this big because they are able to, say, watch movies uh, in this orientation. Uh, so if you do consume a lot of um, uh, movies and videos, and this would be a great phone for you. It also depends on how big your, your hand is. Now, a lot of people with uh, with hands like mine uh, might prefer a smaller phone, but uh, the uh, Diamond X1 does a great job in terms of balancing the uh, size of the display and the thickness of the display and the feel, overall feel of the phone. It does feel great. It does feel like a premium phone. Uh, well, this phone uh, is one of a few star, star mobile phones. They started with a Knight that uses a one glass uh, technology and that allows them to really bring down um, the thickness of the phone to uh, this level. This is a point, uh, sorry, a seven millimeter uh, thickness uh, and it does feel lighter uh, and thinner and as you can see the um, the bezel on the phone too has been reduced so it does feel like the display is really flushed against this aluminum frame. So there you have it folks, that was our first look at the Star Mobile Diamond X1, a six inch octa-core Android smartphone from Star Mobile. This phone will be available in stores by the end of January for 13,990 pesos.